Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we will discuss about one more topic in MS Word that is paragraphs and styles. So let's start the Windows Word. So click on the run and uh, type win word and press enter so that Windows Word will be opened and choose the blank, blank document and now so in the previous session we have seen the font font properties right formatting text formatting now we will see this paragraph options so in the previous session as i have said that just keep moving the mouse pointer you will get the uh, title or option name so this is the bullets and this is a numbering and this is multi level list and this one is a decrease indent increase indent sort show or hide borders shading line and paragraph spacing justify alignment align right center alignment and the left alignment now i will write some data so just if you want to give this numbering that means if you want to type any list okay so for example go with the hobbies so uh, reading books okay and uh, playing cricket right and playing chess so all these are some hobbies i need to give a numbering for these things you select the text with for which you need to give a number and select here we can we can give either bullets or a numbering so that means we can give these bullets you can observe here so whenever i keep on moving the mouse pointer towards the symbols so here at the bottom it was reflecting you can observe here the first one so if you select this one all the uh, I mean all the text which we have selected will be started with this this particular symbol or this one so in order to represent the point view the text in a point view so we can go with this one so see you can observe here right so like this we can give the points or if you if you are interested to give the numbering instead of symbol okay not only this symbol you can also have the thing so see change the list level so in this way you can change the list level or define a new bullet okay symbol you can apply the symbol and if you want to give some star type symbol just to select that one okay and just give the okay so automatically each and every text will be started with this one that means a pointed okay pointed with this particular symbol and if you are not interested to give the symbols so just you need to go the, with the numbering like one two three so just select this one and go with the numbering so you can have a lot of numbering styles so see this is one style this is one style and this is roman numbers abc small abc okay and again there are a short uh, numbers right so like this we can select any one among these things you can observe the uh, the result was reflecting here right see if you select this one each and every point will be numbered like this okay and similarly similarly so if you are if you don't want if you want to change another format if you want to get, get the new format select this one and here number style so here you can have a lot of styles a lot of numbering styles so you can select one among these things so if you select this one first second third and click on ok so automatically first second third right the points will be like this I, and one more thing see so if you just give the thir third option and if you press enter automatically the same format will be followed see fourth okay next uh, wait 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 yeah see and again you just click on enter you will get a fifth okay right like that the whatever the format we have given and everything will be applied and this is for multi-level text multi-level 
numbering this is for the multi level lang numbering and if you go with this one you can, you can observe here one and uh, in that one the sublist will be started with e, small a again inside the small a the sublist will be with i one right we we'll select this one see from a b c enter just give some tab space automatically the sublist will be started see d e f again again sublist okay d h i again sublist j k l and if you you can you can keep on going like that right so this is a multi way selection multi line selections okay multi level you can you can observe here this is a multi level see this is a multi level list create a multi level list to organize items or create an outline you can also change the look of individual levels in your list or add numbering to headings in your document so you, you there will be lot of options so you can select one among these options you can uh, have your own interest right and this is all about our numbering okay list and numbering and uh, bullets and numbering this is the bullets okay so you can if if, it, if you select this bullets you can select the symbols right and the next one is indentation so you can observe the page margin is here the page margin is here and if you select this one increase indent the margin will be increased see okay the margin will be increased you can observe here right if there if you select here then the content will be moved here right the indentation means just margin margin will start from there so you can observe here the margin on the roller you can observe the margin right so if you press enter automatically the next line will also be starting from this this uh, margin itself because the margin is set like that okay and similarly if you want to decrease the indent you could just press here so automatically the margin will be decreased okay this is completely different from tab okay so if you click on tab automatically some eight spaces or four spaces will be moved you can observe here right and coming to the indentation the complete margin will be changed okay and one more thing this is a sorting so you can apply the sorting that means we can arrange the list in ascending order or descending order so 1 2 3 4 and 5 so you just select this one and just go with this one automatically so sort by paragraph or type a number so ascending order okay so there will be an ascending order if you want to go with the descending order select the descending order select this one so that the content will be sorted in descending order so highest number from highest number to the lowest number so this is for like sorting techniques okay sorting apply, apply, applying the sorting so you can also apply for this one also so select this one and apply ascending order okay so automatically alphabet wise it will be sorted right and the next one is the show or hide that means it shows the spaces and end of line spaces and end of line see i will i will write some content so hi how are you i have started an youtube channel and uploading videos on ms word right see so this is how we have given some text okay and if you select this one and if you click on this symbol it will show the paragraph marks that means end of line and space end of line will be uh, shown with this symbol and space will be given with dot you can observe here see end of line for every end of line it comes here okay and if there is a space you get a dot symbol you can observe a dot symbol between the word and word that means wherever we are having the space there will be a dot and just select this one and click on this one it will hide the things okay so we can know where the space is and where the end line is ended okay and see one more thing a uh, one more thing 
So I just want to type my name and I need to align this text. Alignment means telling the position of that particular text. So this is by default it's a left alignment. So it will start from the left margin itself. And if you select the right margin, automatically the content will be starting from right margin. And if you keep on going, the text will keep on moving towards the left. See. So like that the margin will be from right side this is the right margin and coming to the center margin so the content will be displayed in the center in the center right and justify means so all the lines will be justified that means all the lines will be set towards the left margin and the right margin see I just want to enter the same thing right and see windows word and ms office right so here you can observe the one in one line the content is ended here in one line the content is ended at here so each and every line the end of the line is different it's not in a margin so you can select this one and click on the justify so all the lines will be left and right align okay so select this one and you can see you can observe the complete lines are left aligned and right aligned equally equally so right alignment means you can observe so there is some space after r there is some space because after r you are typing some u which is not fit in this particular margin so there will be some spaces here right so in order to avoid that uneven alignments you can go with this justification for the paragraphs you can go with the justification with the paragraphs right so hope you understood this one right next the spacing so this is all about the aligning the text right alignment left alignment and the paragraph and the next one is the space so space between the lines so you can select this one and go with this one so this is a one space i mean one is a measurement between the line and line it's a 1.15 1.52 you can observe the change in the gap between the lines okay the change is appearing a gap between the lines that is a difference between line and line right so you can select among these things and also you can have a different options line options so here you can have the justification alignment justification outline and the line and page breaks and all these things you can apply so indentation that means left margin right margin okay and the space before and after and also here you can go with the double lines at least exactly multiple lines if you select multiple lines automatically you will get a lot of space okay and if you get, if you go with the double line some space will be applied and if you go with the single line so there will be no space okay so this is how we can apply the paragraph okay line spacing and paragraph spacing and the next one is the highlighting or the shading so you can select the content so you can select the content here and just select it and select the color so that the content will be the background for that particular content will be changed to this color so you can change the color right background color see like that you can also change the thing and the next one is the borders so if you are trying to give any tabular format any tabular format so then you can have the border okay see c programming c plus plus java programming Python programming right you just select this one and you can apply the borders so this is a bottom border this is a top border left border right border and no border and all the borders if you apply this all borders each and every line will be applied the border okay outside border this is the all border this is the outside border only the outside border will be applied this is the inside border no outside border will be displayed 
inside the horizontal inside vertical so if there are any multiple columns then inside vertical will be taken right and this is the horizontal line so without the text to see first i will apply the all borders and later uh, after ending of this one see i will i will go with this one uh, I miss word. Okay, and uh, see uh, the next one is a uh, border means a horizontal line. This will give the horizontal line here, right? So M S word horizontal line. So that's the title. We can give the title like this. Okay, just increase, and you can alignment the center, and you can have the horizontal line here. Okay, we can give also the title, right? and then draw table if you want to draw the table you can also draw the table by using this pencil this one right you can also change the i mean you can also give the rows okay you can give the rows you can give the columns you can draw the table by using this one okay draw table right and borders and shading so you can apply the different borders for the page okay this is a page and you can apply the borders and shading so you can apply uh, this is a none and this is border okay so this is the border you have given for this content okay so i will show you so you can apply here and see this is one thing these are the different styles of borders you can apply for the table or a page border so you can apply the page border border for the page so you see you can apply the box box type of border for a whole document click on okay the complete page will be bordered okay and so we'll see these options uh, the border options in the further sessions okay and this is the styles different styles to display so you select this one and click on this one so it will be in particular style heading styles okay this is one type of uh, displaying the headings and this is one type of displaying the headings and all there are different ways okay this is one type of display the heading so you can select one type of style to display the headings and you can uh, simply type the text okay this is all the styles and the paragraph so in the paragraph we have seen the bullets numbering multi level numbering indentation indents okay increase the indent and decrease the indent and the sorting and the show and hide uh, the marks and alignments left right justify and center alignments and the paragraph spacing and the color to fill the background and the borders borders to be displayed okay there are different borders applied okay now apply a uh, different borders bottom top left right no border all border outside inside inside horizontal inside vertical all these things we have seen right so let's stop here and uh, hope you understood this uh, paragraph options and styles options so if you are having any doubts regarding these two options feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you are really understood my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.